This is the San Andreas Fault in Southern California. Later in this video, we'll fly along the San Andreas from the Cajon Pass to just north of Indio, but first let's set the scene. Here's a USGS fault map of the area we'll be looking at. The lines are the faults. The different colors tell you when that section of the fault last had an earthquake. Here is the San Andreas Fault. Now let's look at it from the air. This is the Cajon Pass. The San Andreas Fault cuts across the mountains from the southern side of the San Bernardinos to the northern side of the San Gabriels. This is the northern end of the San Jacinto Fault. The San Jacinto Fault, which runs from the Cajon Pass to near the Mexican border, is a complex fault system made up of many parallel fault strands, and it's one of the most active fault zones in Southern California. It's produced at least 11 earthquakes greater than magnitude 6 in the last 120 years. But back to the San Andreas. In these videos, we'll be looking north-northeast and flying towards the southeast. For the most part, the San Andreas is located right along the mountain front from the Cajon Pass until around Highland, where it splits, with one strand continuing along the front of the mountains and the other running along Mill Creek Canyon. Once you start to get around the Yucaipa area, things start to get real messy with all kinds of different faults going in all kinds of which ways. Geologists actually call this area around the San Gorgonio Pass the Knot because of the complex faulting and geology. You can see that here in this fault map from the USGS. Once you get around the knot over by Whitewater, you have several different strands of the San Andreas. The strands in the south parallel the northern side of the 5 Freeway, while the northern strand comes in and swoops southeast towards Desert Hot Springs. You can see that right up here. The strands start to converge along the edges of the Indio Hills and come together just to the southeast of Biskra Palms, which you'll be seeing coming up here in just a second. Now, let's take a look at it from a slightly different angle and see if you can spot those fault strands. This is Biskra Palms, and the area around here is an excellent place to see fault features in the landscape. In this image, you can see lines of vegetation, offset streams, offset fans, and other classic fault features. Watch the video again to see if you can spot these types of features along the length of the fault. I have other videos that show different parts of the San Andreas and give more information on what to look for in the landscape to help identify the fault from the air.